Hey guys and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial and today we will be uh, going over this kind of cool effect which um, kind of takes the foreground of your screen. I've got a quick clip to show you here. Um, here this uh, kind of thing here that says streak and then there's another bit in the top corner but today we'll just focus on this bit that says streak here. Um, so we're going to make a nice uh, box down here and we'll put some writing in and stuff like that. So you, once you've uh, imported your clip and, and put it in the timeline then you're going to want to find the spot where you know you're going to want to put it in. So I get my first kill you know just just in a second after this so we'll we'll start the um the nice the square to come in here and what you want to click on is media generators and if you can't find this you have to uh click on this view here and you'll see media generators you need to select that but you want to go to here and you want to click solid color um it doesn't really matter what color cuz you can change it to what you want but uh, this cyan's quite nice. So we're going to drag and drop into the timeline. Here. I'm just going to quickly change the colour to it. A bit of a nicer colour. A bit of a darker blue. Like that. Um, and we're going to make sure it's on top by clicking and dragging. And we have a nice colour on top. Now we want to change the size of it. So we click the event panel crop. And we drag these buttons out here. And as you can see, it starts to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, because this is, um, it fits the shape. It's not a, like a perfect rectangle. What we want, so we want to just drag it down to the corner, and then you can see it becomes a a nice little panel here, where you can um, put your writing in. So once you've got the size right just close that pan and crop button and then you can see it, it's just it's taken over too much of the screen so the trick is is to make it slightly transparent and on your video clip here if you put your mouse near the top it comes up with opacity and you want to click and drag down um, then you can do this to your liking you can do it a little bit um, I'm gonna do it about you know 50% so we'll leave it as that and there we have a nice rectangle ready for um, putting text on top. Now for this here I actually made my own box in Photoshop that was uh, the right size and imported that so that's why mine's slightly up um, and you know it, it might look a bit nicer but this is good enough and we'll go on with using this and now we want to put some text in. Whilst you're on your um, media generators you want to go ahead and click text and you know the nicest one I find for just simple use is just the um, soft shadow um, so we'll drag and drop this one back in again and we'll drop it down here and um, I'm just going to use for an example just the same as we had before and go for um, point streak or gun let's go for gun streak I think that's what I had gun streak just like that close that for now we'll have to tweak that a bit later so then we'll um, put this up so it's on top of the layer um, and then what we're gonna do now is we are gonna go into the event pan and crop and make it uh, the size you want you can either do this in this event pan and crop thing uh, or you can choose the generated media and make sure you highlight it and then you can change this to whatever size you want and you can place it in here you can do all the stuff so we're going to drag it drag it down to the bottom corner where we want it ah come across a problem it goes out too early so I think what we need to do here is do what we do for the normal thing and we're going to um, uncheck maintain aspect ratio and hopefully um, that will let us. Oh no, 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 no! Still not going. Still not going across. There we go. Use the uh, event pattern crop. Better. I'll get it nice. 
nice down to here and the shadow brings it makes it give it a nice three d effect you can also change the opacity um a bit on this one, but I like to leave it a hundred um but you don't want to put the number as the same one as this one because if you want to count up your actual gun streak, you're gonna need to change the number um every time every time you get a kill so you're gonna bring in another text thing and you're gonna put the amount of kills and at the moment I've got zero kills so that's that's just what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same as the others bring it to the top event pan and crop shrink her down to size I like to make her her <laughs> it a uh, slightly bigger than the text so it stands out a bit more we'll put it there but don't forget later on you you'll probably have two digits like 12 1 2 so um give it enough space and we'll put it there so now we have a nice gun streak and if we play it uh stays there nicely and just there i get my kill so i want to change the zero to a 1 and all i'm going to do well first i'm going to drag these gun streak across and this layer here so it stays there um, and then you're going to find out where you want to put it by using your arrow keys to go frame by frame. And right there I get the kill. So I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. So there. And we're going to copy it across by press it holding control on your keypad. Um, I don't know what it is on Mac, sorry. But control on your keypad, click and drag across and it will say create new copy. Um, but we want the ex exact same thing because that would be in the same place and the same size and everything but if we zoom in by using our mouse we can change this to 1 so now it will go from well first it will uh, come in where we set it right here and then boom as we get the kill it changed to 1 as you can see there and if we drag this across like this it will last for longer so come in one two three boom change to one and it's still lasting until it stops here if you don't get another kill I got another kill there so what you'd have to do is um get where you want to change it right there so you uh, drop this one back copy by holding control and dragging okay for that and then change it to two just like that and then as you can see we get boom one running around and then boom two and it changes to two there that's a tutorial if you wanted you can fade it in fade it in fade it in so it has a uh, nice fade for it coming in there instead of just juttering and coming straight there now um my aim is to get 50 subscribers at the moment so if you could subscribe um, it would be awesome and at 50 subscribers I'm going to do a tutorial on the YouTube background and I'm also going to give a nice free um, you know template but um, it's for you to download and to make your own so thank you for watching um, again don't forget to subscribe um, so uh, you can have that uh, nice background tutorial and I'll see you next time bye